the day to day the shit change But you know for the most part nothing ain't different Sometimes be stuck in my ways weekend Sit up in somebody's kitchen Stick in my hand I'm chillin' with the troops in my few cans down So I walk like Winston Trust me I wake up hanging You think that I'm leaving this bed you're kidding I'm sitting on back in the pad Get deep fried and I smoke some packs of the grass Put the feet up, kick back and relaxing your best No I'm sticking on right at least Mamma mia Look at this, mate. Check us out. Mate, it's a, ch- a change of scenery indeed. It's the ultimate change of scenery, I would say. Uh-huh. We're in Strangers Barbers. Strangers Creative. Reese Haggerty sitting in the back. What a proud mother. <laughs> <laughs> what, that, that's like when you're more like at the, like the football or something. Aye. No, wait, my mum never recorded me at the football. Aye, that was me with fucking Morgan at High Rocks. Woo! <laughs> that High Rocks is mad, mate. Me. High Rocks is this fucking strange... Stranger It's a strange phenomenon Before we start by the way I need to remember this We need to give a shout out to somebody Simply detailing Oh yes Lee Lee Sutherland Yes Lee know, Sutherland Know that one uh, Lee Sutherland Sorted up Jamie's car Mate Look better than ever Look better than a bore So what he does is like It's like a It's like a valet That's how he explained it to me Because he was like I'll sort your motor out And I was like What <laughs> would he do? It's like a valet for the Outside your motor Aye like, But you done the inside as well didn't Mate you? Touched up like Paint and all that Like pure An extra Extra care Polished everything and all that It was fucking dynamite So I shout out to Lee Sutherland Shout out to the man Lee Sutherland So he's On Instagram It's at Simply Detailing So you can go and give him A wee check If you're needing anything with your car mm, And I need to get good. mine done soon Lee Please <laughs> uh, So I Shout out to him But I mean We're here we're here. I've We're not in G4. We've got Joe back. <laughs> Joe's here. Hello. Joe's standing in. Obviously, Jamie would. He was at G4. He's left to go and do his own thing, so we don't know really what's happening with that yet. But Joe's here yep. for the time being. Welcome back, Joe. Happy to be here. Would you Amazing. Get, would you get this beautiful studio? It is beautiful. It's fantastic. Some would say mystical. Myst- it's it's very mystical. mystical, mate. We've got Neil and Malcolm in the corner. Aye, they're chilling out there. I don't know if that's in the shot perfectly, but also, Reese, have you got your mic here? Have you got your mic there? Say no? hello. I thought you had a mic. Uh, hello. Tell, tell everybody uh, where to come get their haircut. Uh, it's at 80 Kent Street at uh, the Barrows Market. Oh. Oh, oh, that was a very timid reseller. No, no, <laughs> it's not. But that's like very representative of strangers, I would say, because you don't come in strangers and um, get hit in the back with a boner after the barber looking aye. out the window at birds. Aye, aye, um, on every bird. It's, uh, it's not that type of vibe in here. It's also hairdressers as well. Aye, it's, a, it's, it's more, there's more than that, as you can see. You know what I mean? This is a place where art is made, bro. It's more than just a barber's. It's more than just a barber's. It's almost a lifestyle. <laughs> it strangers, is, it kind of is. Strangers is my religion. Strangers Creative is my chapel. <laughs> Trust the plan, bro. <laughs> Aye mate, we're here. We're I've here. put my shoes off and that. I'm so You're cool. really mate. comfy then. I've had pure bog in trainers on and they were hurting a wee bit. They were quite small. I don't know why I wore them. Um, so I I'm just, mate, it's, it's the studio, you know what I mean? We need to get at home here. First I'm one. This must be weird for the viewers seeing this, I reckon. I know, mate, because that's, what was that, like, it's nearly three years we were. I know. Similar. We try to change it up a bit. Do you feel like the, the actual, the, what do you call it, the visual grammar? The visual grammar. Oh. <laughs> Reese just texts me there uh, for the back of the room saying pretend I've died in the background <laughs> <laughs> but he's came through the laptop so, oh uh, no Reese is fucking oh no Reese Reese he's, he's fucking dead well we've got this place to ourselves now but um, <laughs> we're here mate and we're here to talk about embarrassing stuff mm. sort of embarrassing I would say I'd say mate it's an it's, it's life's an adventure and this is some twists and turns that people have taken everybody's been on a first date mm-hmm. and if you've no you're a fucking loser uh, you know, uh, stop listening I'm if you've no been on a date turn off now unless you're just a mad shag or <laughs> or or stay on and find out what they're like aye get some tips on what to do what not to do aye aye this can be a guide a guide to a to gu- first dates a guide at me see what the fuck was that? We're fucking breaking things oh, already. I know, what was mate. that? I don't know why your phone fell through that contraption <laughs> you're sitting on. Oh my on, god, it fell through the chair. <laughs> <laughs> mate, that chair is made out of like space dust. I, know, or I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> I'm on an inflatable chair. I'm like just putting things down <laughs> as if like it's a normal chair. Sitting on my laptop. <laughs> oh, mate, we're here. But, mate, something embarrassing ha- has happened to me in my life recently. Obviously, 
massive news is ringing around Glasgow at the moment that me and Jamie Kelly are off the hash. <laughs> it's, it's, well, we are, how many days we're in now? Two? Two days. Two days in and it's feeling terrible. Awful. <laughs> no, it's, it's nice. It, it, it will day. Do you I'll get by. Do you know what the best thing about it is? I don't want to kill myself anymore. <laughs> hey, that's uh, true. <laughs> which like, is I, the, the best thing I think about it is I'm not irritated by everybody at all times when I'm not stoned at my nut. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm not just walking by my mom like, fuck, shut your mouth. Mate, I mean. I, like, it's funny, we were talking about that on the Patreon episode we just done, but it's like, oh, mate, we, that... we are like, we are like two opposite ways with the, with mm. the, the bud. It's like, you go, you get pure irritated, whereas I get pure like I've spoken about this before, when I smoke bud, I get to a point where I forget what I, I actually act like. So Aye. like you would say something to me and I, in my brain, I would have a thought that goes, how would I normally react to that? Aye. And then I would try and react like that. Do you know what's mad? I can see that in you. I know, Fuck, when, I know when that's happening, but just cause I know you so well, and it's not like I'm pure all the time, but it's like, sometimes I see you and you go, and then you go, I defo mate. <laughs> Something like that. I, I, I can notice it. But I don't get, no, I, I don't get irritated when I'm on bud. It's just that smoking bud makes me feel so goddamn lovely. I've that when, I, when I'm no doing it and I'm no. fucking in the house and somebody says something to me, I'm very, I'm very snappy. I've been a fucking grumpy wee bitch. You've seen me today. I've been a bitchy wee cunt. You, Jamie, Jamie Kelly get, Jamie Kelly, we went to Rumbling Tom round the corner. Shout, Shout out. out. We got a fantastic breakfast in there. A ah, beautiful breakfast. Um, and Jamie Kelly had a flat white, mm -hmm. immediately went out <laughs> of there, went across the road and bought two Red Bulls. One for. came in here and was the sassiest bitch. <laughs> Mem remember, uh, like, uh, what's her, her name? Tiffany? Uh, like, for, like, New mean York. <laughs> like, what's the one that's like, David's dead, that one? Uh, aye. Like, the, now in Big Brother, and it's like the black girl, you know what I'm talking about? And it's like... David's died and they're talking about like David Bowie or something aye, and, she's and it's like, like oh, they had aye. somebody in the house has died aye. what's she called Tiffany New York like I'm not something I, I know who you're talking about people, but she's been overly dramatic she's going oh no David that, <laughs> that was you for a caffeine in Mate, here was, people were saying things and he was looking at me going aye, for me he's bitching so badly man it was, he's been a little bitch mm -hmm. mate but Something that embarrassing that's happened in my life recently is I'm off the hash, but I'm so on the crystal bars Aye, and the mate. nicotine. And do you know what's so embarrassing, mate? Starting to smoke crystal bars at like 27 when you haven't been, because see, you know, in work, I'm like walking about pure <laughs> and like hiding it. Cause I'm like, I don't like a guy seen me outside smoking, like an older guy. And he was like, that. he was like that to me, you smoke. Uh -huh. I'm like, Hey, I just started on this. <laughs> like, I feel so stupid, <laughs> mate. Usually people are like trying to get after them and I'm like, oh, I just started that. Yeah, I thought it was a mad insane move because you know how like, because I've, I've always been quite ashamed of like the fact that I was vaping all the time and all that. And I always thought you were somebody that was impervious to getting the vapes wrapped around your finger. And I feel like you have. Yeah. I, no, I'm... How, what, what's, what's the change? Is it the cherry ice? No, do you know what it is, mate? What what gets me is, all right, I could be walking about breathing in air, but I could also be breathing in fizzy cherry. That is so and true. And that's so much better than just what, plain air. Can I, plain air's like water. Excuse me, can, can I ask you for a shot? Would, would that be okay? Have a blast on that, bitch. Fizzy cherry. Jink of that. It's a lot better than boring old air, isn't it? Oh, oh mate, I mean, no, what, it's insane, what, but what treat? You, can treat? Get, you can get fucking, uh, to, I was in the shop, right? Two for a tenner, doing Airdrie, bro, three for a tenner. Three for a tenner? Three vapes for a tenner. Yeah, it's No wonder I'm out. <laughs> um, there's, so obviously you've got mango ice, watermelon ice. Everything knows. <laughs> and then they've went mental and they're like putting three fruits in that it's like strawberry peach grapefruit and that. And you're like, what does that even fucking taste like? I, I mind my pal asked me to get, get him a vape for a show and I done what one he done. It's a green one. It's passion fruit guava grape. Aye, that. I, mean, <laughs> I was like, what, mate? That's too much, man. No... Stick with one flavour, but... Aye. There's a, there's, you get a crystal bar and it's just tobacco flavoured. Oh, aye, aye. You get what the fuck? Gel pods at golden tobacco. Smoke a fag, mate. I know. But people, some people like the snout, but then don't like, well, well, I don't know, I don't know what the, the <laughs> what's the, <laughs> what, mate, I think uh, our stand-in producers have been an advocate of the golden tobaccos. 
Tobacco ones? They're uh, for a rainy day. Like, you can keep a wee tobacco one, just in a wee lockbox or something. <laughs> and when you've got nothing left, you I know, I don't even know why they make it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, why do they make it? There's no reason to have it other than it's the only one you've got left. But uh, <laughs> the only one you've got <laughs> left. <laughs> no, but why did you even get it in the... Surely you could keep a mango one. <laughs> no, he's telling... He's saying this because I think when you buy a jewel, you get a golden tobacco weight. And it just sits by in a drawer. Oh, you're talking jewels. I'm talking straight crystal Aye, bar. crystal bar tobacco is insane. But the best... The, do, do you know what the thing is with me, but... It's the flavours that are getting me. I want to try every flavour. I'd be like, mm. Like, the best, the best one I've tried so far... Gold bar. Hawaiian sunrise. <laughs> oh, my God. feel like I'm in the Bahamas. That tastes like sex, bro. feel like I'm down the beach in Gilfrin. <laughs> I feel like I'm down the beach. Fish and chip flavour. Oh, mate. Oh. I'd to die for, bro. Oh. Chips and gravy flavour. I'm holding out for a chips and gla- gravy vape. Chips and gravy vape. That would be insane, mate. That's, that would be... I, I would love that. That would be the one, mate. Mate, can I tell you something I learned the other day that I think you'll find interesting? Do you, do you ever hear the, the saying, cheery bye? Oh. Of course. Yeah, I. Every day. Mate, do you know that comes from Scots Gaelic? Aye. The word shari meaning happy and by, like we are like A U Y E, you know that? Like, I thought it was just then, like. Mm, I thought it was just like. When cheerio you be- and by. Aye. So did I, but it's no, it's for Gaelic. It came Where from, does Cheerio even come from? Aye. I, I don't know, can we get it? Look, you've got a laptop there. Do you want to get searching away? I'll talk to I'll talk to stand in producer Joseph. Joseph, do you want to talk about your new employment place? And do you want to talk about this beard that you that's what's been happening to me? You look I like, like the cheery man. buying, but I've you, got a beard, like a wee kind of tr- small beard. I've been grooming myself. You getting been, groomed. You look like myself. you've been getting groomed. Have you having a lot of baths or that? Not really. Lately you've been bathing. Do you want to talk about your employment I've, status in country baskets? No. I want to know about if Cheerio's English or Scottish. Right, so why? So Google said like, why do the British say Cheerio? The toast of Cheers had been around well before then. So this is obviously started in the middle of an article here. The toast of Cheers had been around well before then, and it was a common custom when someone was leaving on a long trip to share a lit. A liba- libation, a libation, libation with them to toast them on their way. The toast being given, being cheers. That's that's rope. You're weird, isn't it? Aye. This was known as cheering off. So like you're cheering somebody off before Aye. they go and do something. Cheerio, cheerio, Yo, cheerio, 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 cheerio. That is the most British thing ever. <laughs> isn't it? Um, I know, but I'm sure cheery by comes from Scots Gaelic and then there was a few other words I was I was wondering if we could maybe type that in. Right. Scots Gaelic words that are used today or Gaelic just in general because it was a good few and they were very because you always think about see when we think about words and that you always think about like French words are being the only foreign words you can I use sometimes like as hard as a fucking like blumage you know that? it's just coming up like if it's used how many people use it how many people so Scotland's most recent census revealed that they have a population just shy of 5.5 million. So out of 5.5 million, how many people do you think speak, can speak Gaelic? Like 10,000 or something? 20,000? Se- what? Well, I would say like under a thousand. It's like one school in Glasgow. No. All the, yeah. I- all the islands they like Campbell, people in Campbelltown, they are Dross and that. They'll be... Aldrossin. No, Aldrossin, sorry. Fucking Campbelltown, Aldrossin. The mountain of camp season, that. So it's 60,000, so just over 1%. Oh. But I know that school you're talking about, why I hear a funny story. So I know somebody that went to a gaff and it was all the people that went to that school it was mostly them right and they were fleeing out their nut and they heard people talking Gaelic and they thought they were hitting a badge and they were Oof. like how weird would that be like being fleeing out your nut and people just starting, to, oh. starting talking Gaelic and they can all understand each other and you're like mate that, <laughs> that was like my dream now I was telling you about my dream that I was like too baked that I couldn't understand people it sounded like they were talking gibberish and I was getting pure scared and all that mate you know how I thought about talking about this you were just mentioning the school there Joe do you remember the school we seen in India it, it was, was like a wee camp school. It, no, was, it was like a wee it was workshop called, or something. It was called like St. Joseph's something school, right? But it had like barbed wire and all on it. And it had a mad sign and we went up and read it. And it was like, what are you laughing at? This is terrible. <laughs> I'm laughing at you painting a mad bitch. It had barbed wire on it. <laughs> like that. Just slagging <laughs> fuck at it. A drossing, man. A drossing, <laughs> everywhere. No, but, um, and on the fucking plaque thing, it was like, 
stitch making sand art, like all these getting them ready for the sweatshops, man. Aye, mate. <laughs> aye, it was moving master that. that just, it, hey, fuck it. It was shoe making that. It was. I swear to God. In the school? Aye, that was what the school was for. Mate, see, talking about India, I heard Joe's been a bit of a Mumbai party boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Joe's <laughs> partying with the boy from <laughs> Mumbai. Yeah. One night in Baga, mate. One night in Baga. And one night What's in Baga. Baga? 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 It's mental, didn't it? Baga, Baga. <laughs> mental place, mate. It's mental, didn't it? Mate, me and Joe spent a mad magical time at, well, that night. We were up till like nine in the morning on was the beach together. That was, was a new year, but you're allowed to do that. Aye, mate, it was, mate, I go in the year, bro. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, what about, see, I know this is totally off topic, but um, Cat, Cat Williams on Joe Rogan, aye, right? Aye. It's about three and a half hours, so I'm getting into it, but he's saying like, why, like, I, I knew that in 20 years time, saying the GOAT, would be a normalised phrase because like the goat's pure demonic and that, like a goat, but they've like coined it to be like a common phrase, like the greatest of all time and that, but they've they've put, it's putting like goats and like all that imagery in your head of like Satanism and that. The emojis and all that, it's just a pure Maybe normal. no emojis, but I, know, I just mean like that being used, it's popularised mm -hmm. everywhere. Because it's I? like the like, greatest of all time, but then it's like, you don't even know that you're Do being you remember in like 2010 or something, people used to always say it about like Rihanna and Beyonce Aye. and all that, it's mm -hmm. like that, because they used to always say that, it's like, Something looks like a goat and Lady Gaga and that. that. Like satanic rituals. Yeah, Lady mm -hmm. Gaga was well in the Illuminati. Mate. Lady Gaga, mate, know who's the queen of the Illuminati the new? Doja Cat. Jink Doja Cat, isn't it? Mate, Doja Cat, oh. used, to, Doja Cat used to be fine as hell. She looks like fucking... Are we alien? Somebody stoting about the bar. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Feels like something found that like... And so some... looks like the guy sells a snout. <laughs> <laughs> Tobacco and Viagra. <laughs> mate, bit. no. Oh, right. <laughs> no, cut that, cut that, the producer, cut, cut, cut. The, the executive producer. <laughs> Can't have that, that bubble, mate. Tone, your tone is doing well. Mate, mate, do you know what I was about to talk to you about, bro? Just, this is just a quick, again off topic, but it just came into my head again. Do you know how in America, like, I couldn't say it here as well, people would say fap for like having a wank. And it's, they say that because it's the sound, right? I realised that's also what chugging is. Chug is the sound. Fap, 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 fap. Yeah, is, it, is that an onomatopoeia? No, but chug is. Chug, 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 chug. Like, that's why <laughs> no, you say, well, why do you say chug? Well, you, do you say that when you're having one? Chug, chug, nah. chug. And no, your Bobby's talking to you. Why do you say chug, but? Because it means drinking something fast. No. Wait, chug, aye. Let's find it. <laughs> no, because, like, that's what I mean. It's Chug is already a word. I thought it was like you, a train. Should talk about a train? Is I, but what, what is a train about having a wank? I think it's the exact same as fat. I think it's the Scottish way of saying a fat, fat, fat. But you, yeah, I'm a bit fat, me anyway, but you've been doing the no fat challenges. No, 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 that. No, I just, I was thinking about how funny the word chug is. Like, having a chug. Like, I'm away, have a chug or something. Like, have you said that? What does chug mean in slang? To swallow a drink completely without stopping to breathe. Example. Chugging milk in that, I like, can say chug, like chug jug, for example, Fortnite and that. Hi, Vicky. <laughs> hey, Vicky. We've got another producer Shout out to in Vicky. the building on Ca FaceTime. What's the cafe? Derizola? Derizola. Get down Derizola, Shawlands, Scurvin Street, innit? Sc oh. Bloody Scurvin Street. You've knocked that out of the park, girl. Yeah? I walked by it the other day. Did you? It's a nice little cafe, innit? Ah, it's lovely. Which gets the stamp. Oh, I did it go in. Gets it LG stamp of approval, bro. Ah, it gets the stamp, but I think we've got a lot of these to go through. Let's oh. get into the... We asked for your embarrassing sort of first date stories. The first dates from hell. We get so much, mate. We so get a lot many. of them. And I'll be honest, a lot of them didn't make it because a lot of them was just boys going... Mate, this bird she was very fat as fuck. This bird, <laughs> this bird was pure stinking ass, right? <laughs> mate, this bird looked healthy, mate. Oh, she was heavy fat as fuck. <laughs> it's like, that's on you, mate. You do your research. <laughs> 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 Investigate you further. You need to be scouting these pics. Aye, man. But <laughs> let's go. So, do you think I should keep these anonymous, all of them? I don't know. I think fucking... Or should I get the Sunday name out in the pod? Aye. Right, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep them anonymous. Docs, every one just of them. To, just to be safe. So... The first one we've got, went on a Tinder date with a bird and the actual date wasn't so bad. Well, it went well enough to get invited back to her, but oh, oh, where we proceeded to get down to the dirty deed. Prior to that, she thought it would be a good idea to set the mood by lighting some candles. Nice. I mind I had her bent over and I just stopped when she started asking why. I could barely even speak, I was that steaming. All I could do was point and say, fire. 
she looked up and just saw that her bed had caught fire because one of the pillows had landed on top of the candle. Oh my she started God. running about trying to find something to put it out while I just sat there staring at the events passing by. She eventually got it out. Got what out the dick? Got it. <laughs> <laughs> she eventually got it out of her mouth. Uh, and we both lived to tell the tale, but we never ever saw each other again. I, you may, you I guess he was just storing there the whole time. I think he should have done something. He should have been his dick in his hand. He should have been. He should have been the boy. Should have been sorting that out during. I would have I, jumped on top of it. Should I just fucking <laughs> bang, bang, bang on the foot, mate? How mental would that be? Like, he leapt on top of it, just caught fire. <laughs> <laughs> just jumped over I'm it. Sort of, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm 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 sorry, i am I this think, relationship was forged in flames together. I think it's so what, pure, you're pure footsie by the way. Bro. I know, mate. And it's weirder. It's weirder getting footsie. To get to fuck. <laughs> mate, this guy, it, do, do, you know, do you know what the hang is? <laughs> mate, he's got his socks on. I can pure feel all his toes in that one. Mate. Get to <laughs> Right, so I right. think it's, mate, I think the most mental part of that story is they never saw each other again. I, like, I thought they would have been solid after that, that gone through that experience. Um, a pillow. A pillow. <laughs> it was just friction. It was all just friction. The boy was going a hundred mile an hour. Oh, I'm a, a fanny caught a little fire. Humper, mate. He's a little humper. <laughs> mate, like rubbing toast that shit again. Oh, bro, mate, a fanny caught fire, mate. <laughs> uh, like, that's, that's insane, mate. Aye. That's nuts. Uh, so, right, let's move on to the next one. So, <laughs> this one's nuts. First date story. I met this lad on Tinder. Couldn't decide if he was a weirdo or hilarious. It was in one of the COVID lockdowns, so we just went on a walk. Walk, uh, sorry, we just went on a walk in that. Then one night he came round to mine for some drinks, got a bit pissed, and then he asked me to do a, a Downton Abbey role play. <laughs> 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 I've never watched it, so wasn't too sure what the crack was. Anyway, he wanted me to be posh and rich, and he was one of my servants. <laughs> <laughs> He, he couldn't get it up, so he was kneeling on my bed, wanking his dick hard. I was laid there with uh, my hands over my face, wanting to die. Uh, he then came, came on my new duvet set. Swear to God, he still had a floppy as well. Afterwards, I was so... I... Mate... What you saying? You're I'm saying I might be part of the role play, the floppy bit. I the the he's people just, in that program. Oh, I'm people. so pathetic, I, I can't even get a boner. <laughs> Mate, coming on a floppy is insane. So it said, I was laid there with my hands over my face wanting to die. He then came on my new duvet set, swear he still had a floppy as well. Afterwards, I was so mortified, I didn't know what to do. So rolled a joint and got really high, got starving. So was like, let's order some grub. He was like, my treat, blah, blah, blah. Obviously for the floppy situation. <laughs> I picked a box meal I, I wanted from the chicken shop. It was basically a wicked zinger meal. Passed the phone to him and he said, how much? 8 99 that's scandalous. Oh my God. What a fucking <laughs> you pathetic... Can't grum you can't grumble at the price after all that. What a pathetic guy, <laughs> mate. <$8 99. laughs> that's how much it is at KFC. The 8 99 is cheap, mate. I think you'll be hard pressed to find a good KFC for 8 99 these days. KFC is fucking... The same as Subway. Aye. The only one that's staying kind of real is McDee's. McDee's is the fucking, they do everything better than the rest, mate. Fast food wise. They'll never catch up to McDee's. Not maybe they can. Desserts, breakfast, burgers, chicken, the lot. Mate, do you, <laughs> know, do you want me to tell you something, right? I'm going to put this statement out here. Yep. Do you all like a hash brown? Love them, hash bizzles. Hash browns? Hash browns all round, boys? Yeah. Um, give me a McDonald's hash brown or any other hash brown I've had. Aye. A million percent. You agree with me? The shape over the triangle. The shape, the, the crunch to potato inside the, texture. The actual potato as well. Soft, lovely potatoes. <sighs> Except the only hash brown I'd have, had to have over it is the IHOP ones in America. All right. See that? Have you ever seen them? And it's like shredded potato. No. And it's all, oh, it's like, oh, it's just like, see like in a, a cheese grater kind of thing. Hunters of shredded potato or pressed down on a frying pan. It's fucking banging as well. That's a good hash bizzle. Where do you go to IHOP, Florida? Aye, aye, International Drive. Is yeah, IHOP, because I know there's some shit in America, it's like, you only get, so like, in and out burgers only in like, the West aye, Coast, I West, think. aye. 
and then I hops like I hops everywhere. I think. Uh, oh, maybe no. Maybe it's more like beach towns and what's that. What's our version of I hop? Do we have it? Denny's is I hop. They, they've got Denny's and all, and we've got that kinda. Where Denny's in somewhere pure it's, weird, isn't it? It's like uh, no, Hillington or Hillington. So. I I get shut down because nobody went to it or so. Mate, what about I drove by reviews. Popeyes the other day or whatever it's called. Aye. Is that the new thing? Where where was I? It's been out for a bit. I forget where months. I was, but I was somewhere pure random and I was Barhead. Like, is it was it in Barhead, mate? I was like playing football or something. I wonder what the thinking was behind putting that in Barhead. I was so confused because it was empty. <laughs> you would think that would be it, packings and all might be good. I I've had that abroad and I didn't like it that much. No, because there was a Popeyes in Vietnam, but it was like KFC. It was like no, it wasn't the way it is here. It, had, it was nothing like it. And noodles, not? No, nah, it wasn't. What a mumbo jumbo, bro. It wasn't great, mate. That is just straight mumbo. It was straight foreign muck, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so right, so next story, guys. We're moving this train along. A short and sweet one. My pal Kerr was talking to a lassie on Tinder for a couple of weeks and they agreed to meet up and go for a coffee. He got to her house and he sent her a message saying, I'm outside. <laughs> He takes a look at her window and sees her peeking through the blinds, then quickly closes them. He kept messaging her saying he was outside, but she wasn't responding. Ten minutes go by while Kerr's still in the driveway. Then the cunt got blocked off her. He gives it five minutes, then fucks off. What are you need five minutes for? What, would you be away right away? <laughs> we get blocked. <sighs> that is grim, isn't it? I mean, I would have sped away there. I would have crashed into cunts, not. That is like the worst nightmare. I would have GT5 out of there. I would have sped on the motorway, but I'd have been greeting into the steering wheel, not. That is a harsh one, bro. I wonder what makes, because obviously they've been talking on Tinder or whatever. So is this this person's pal? Mm -hmm. Is it a male guy? A male guy? Aye, <laughs> aye my pal Kerr, I'm assuming, is a boy. Aye, because I, I feel for the boy. You ever done it like that? What, to a female? Mm -hmm. Never in my life, bro. I've never really been on any dates. Like, I've not had... I've been on like a couple of dates in my life. I see. Like I've had very few. See, the thing is, when you've got a fucking, like, you don't need a lot of dates. Do you know what I mean? No. See if you're doing it right. See if you've been on 150 dates, something wrong with you. You need to calm down. Chill out. Yeah, I've been, have you been bashing um, Love in the Spectrum, by the way? Just talking about <sighs> I know we're talking dates here. Do you know what I've been wanting to talk about Love in the Spectrum? And I forget about it every, every single, single time. Every single week, same, mate. I had it in my notes earlier on, so I was like, I definitely want to bring this up. I want to talk Tanner. Mm -hmm. I want to talk Tanner a lot. Tanner's a lovely man. Have you been watching, Joseph? Yeah, I've seen it on TikTok. I've seen it on TikTok. Have you seen Tanner? Is He's that the mad bald guy with a skinhead? No. no, no, who's no, that with a skinhead? No, to be Indian no, guy. Yeah, he goes, <laughs> um, so today, <laughs> oh, no, James, James. James, James B. Jones, okay. let me tell you something, right? You just can, you just can honestly check this, check this at home if you want. Go on our TikTok, look at who our, we follow. We follow six accounts me, Jamie, Jamie Wood, your girlfriend, my girlfriend, and James B. Jones for Love in the Spectrum. Here, no, it's nuts, but I love them because all the comments are like, will bro ever chill? Like, because it's like, he's always going on insane rants. But see if you actually, he's pure smart. Aye. He's like talking about like, talking about how, how he like fixed the economy and all that. Aye, aye, aye. But people, he's always standing in front of a podium. It was aye, nuts. Aye. <laughs> it's nuts. Well, actually, it's, it's, it's that breathing thing. Mate, I love him so much. I love his, see that he's rig outs. Mm-hmm. Oh, mate. See, he's, when he's trying to impress on a date, he's stunted out the hair gel back in that. He loves his hair. And he loves, like, I think he likes about bit of, like, he's, he always, he's, like, wanting beautiful vistas and all that. He's always like, what a beautiful view I have here. And I, like, he likes it. He likes the date being nice for the woman. He's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's like an elegant man. Uh, it's he as well. He hates wearing anything apart from flip-flops. Aye. He, he, like, every, he? like, he keeps going to go for a date, right? And he... Uh, his mum's like, ah, James, you need to put shoes on. Like, he's walking a bit like barefoot and he's like, but I was wearing shoes yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> he's amazing. Four shoes every day. The, the, my favourite, I know who I love? Connor. I, mate, I don't, I'm not, uh, what the fuck, mate? I've got a lot of things to say about Connor. What are you going to say? I've got, I want input for Joseph Gascard. He doesn't here, even right? know. Do you, you, that skinhead guy? No, Kinda, I hold your mic properly, right? I know So, it's... so. I, I just want to say, because this is who Connor is to me, it reminds me of him perfectly, right? Sp the game Spider-Man 2, the Peter Parker in that game is a mad cringy 
annoying cunt who's like, well, I guess I'll go here now and all that. And that's- Bro, he's got autism. I know. <laughs> what the fuck's but, sake? But he annoys me. He annoys me. Right, all right, I like him. A wee bit. I like them all. Like, I like them all. I do this you, guy. Do you really? This guy. You mean, you're basically got autism with your feet out and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm half autistic. I just don't like, I'm, it's nothing to do with being autistic. I just don't. I, I, you can dislike autistic people. Ah, yeah, I don't you don't need them. to like them. But, no, but I, it's not even that I don't like him. It's just he's not my, one of my favourites mm-hmm. on, on the show. Right, aye. But I've, I, I, mate, I follow him on TikTok. You know what I mean? I'm throwing the love out there to Connor. I'm, nope. I'm not hating on the boy. Actually, you don't like Connor, I'll tell you something. I don't like Danny. Who's Danny again? The bird that's every day, she's, oh. every day it's gone pure well and she's like, do you own an animation studio? <laughs> and if they don't own an animation studio, she doesn't go with them. She's actual fuming. Like she can't, eh? that's her one I, thing. That's like, to, mate, Solando had a fucking animation degree or something. I, and he was like, I'm working towards getting my own studio or not. And she was like, I just don't think it's right. <laughs> she's like, but you've no got it, the new, like, I'm wanting an animation studio with the new. I want to find <laughs> a guy that owns, I want to find Spike Lee or whatever. I know. Mate, you know, I don't, know why I don't like her, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, but, she's got autism. Aye, but I've got a good reason. You just don't like the way he spoke. <laughs> I think her morals are all wrong, right? <laughs> but, like, she, she wanted this one guy, right? Mm-hmm. She had her heart set in him. I think he had an animation studio. Is this the guy from, like, that was uh, from California? He was a wee driver away and he owned his own studio? Aye. Um, the place. So, like, I don't know what his name is. He showed up in a leather jacket and that. He, he showed up today in a leather jacket. He clearly wasn't that in her, right? He, she keeps going, like, saying things and he's kind of like, no, like, he, 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 he wasn't into it. So then she realised that, like, he didn't want her. So she just, like, went with this other guy. And it's like she just said, like, she was like, oh, I'll just go with him because he didn't. No, because she really liked the other guy. You know I, I mean? know what you mean. That's, I, I like don't trust it. It's, it's a bit egotistical, do you think? She, that? It's, a, it's just a bit like you. I think she was using them to stay on the show. She's uh, trying to get in the next season. I, she's wanting to stay on there. She's wanting to be a regular. <laughs> <laughs> the first of all, loving the spectrum regular. My favourite of all time at all these shows, Big Dan Wakeford. Oh. I love girlfriend. Why I put it on? I can actually get it on. Get it on, bro. Dan Wakeford. I actually... love Dan. Da, see, the thing is, Daniel Wakeford's a recording artist. Is he? Aye, he's a, he's but talented da, guy. Do you know? Do you know what I love? Like, you see, watching these shows, apart from Danny, you've never want like. See, when you watch them in the dates, you're like, you've never wanted somebody to like succeed. You're like, <laughs> just like, there's a bit, there's a bit in it where Connor holds the lassie's hand, oh, and aye. then he's like. And he's Aye. like holding the horn and he's like, she's like, are you alright? And he's like, I like that, but it was also kind of scary. And it's like, you're like, oh, like you just want a... Want good things to have. That's what I pulled her wall down, Aye. mate. But, um, so, oh, Playboy Girls, this is a good one. He's ready. Mm-hmm. Yes, man. Playboy girls, girls so much pretty. pretty. Oh. Playboy girls, have a dance, let's have a party. Playboy girls, she's oh, you a can't. lady. Very Playboy punk. Girls, he's got a full. Have a boogie. <laughs> he's got a full <laughs> album and he goes and does like live performances and pops in that. Aye. Aye. Me, I love that. We need to get him out of the, the live show. Show. We've got how many people are we getting out of this live show? Benny T's got a backflip, my scooter. Are we getting that? Are we getting a wee quarter pipe? We're setting that up, mate. <laughs> getting a wee quarter pipe. Right, let's let's move on to the next the next date story. So, um, so first date story. So I used to live in Spain and I went there on a first date with a boy when I, while I was out there. He said we were going to go to the beach for the day and rent a Zodiac, which is like a wee motorboat. Um. So we rolled a few joints, got a few cans, and we're all set for our big voyage. Some point along the way, the cunt starts steering the boat to the side of the beach he was told not to go near because of winds. A massive wave comes from the right, completely knocks us upside down, flinging us both out the boat. The boat's fucked along with my phone, shoes, bag, and all my most important belongings, and we both nearly drowned. <laughs> I went with him for a year and a half after that. Fuck's sake. That's what I think should have happened in the fire one. Forged in the flames, mate. They were forged by the, by the Poseidon. Mm-hmm. By the god of the seas, mate. 
Oh, how I mean, I, See if some See if I was on a date If I was on a date And somebody do, I don't fuck with the water, mate No Mate, that's the, that's a nightmare, bro I'm not playing games In the fucking ocean Passport, maybe And the You never know The passport could be away as well You're on holiday If the bus is missing Oh, she you. lived there? Oh, she living there, sorry Aye. Right So that's the only thing A passport around I'm not fucking But still That's too date ah, Look I'm a I'm a slightly dangerous at times I can be. You can be explosive. In the water. We were talking about this. I don't like see people get see the see the mad idiots that used to run about and like dunk everybody under the water and that. <laughs> He's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> that is Jamie Kelly one one in it. Dunking Ch- people under the water. Chokes on dunking people under the water. Chokes on <laughs> the pool <and> that. <laughs> <laughs> what about people have you ever do you know, remember people who would keep their trainers on in the pool? You ever seen that, mate? <laughs> You ever no. seen people? Oh, in the sea. Sorry. No, what's that about? People putting their, keeping their trainers on in the sea. Oh, to like when you're walking on the rocks and all that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. never enjoyed that as an activity. I hate my feet being wet like that. You, my, my, tra- my trainers being wet like that. I would never do that. Like trainers being wet with the feet in that under scrunch, it. scrunching, like I, filling up like like a sponge, it's drenching, mate. You don't get that out. That's a t- trainer doesn't recover for that. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? He's sabotaging there, mate? this, mate. They're actually a fucking disgrace, the pair. <laughs> what are you even flying? I keep hearing myself flagging about. <laughs> what is that? Is that a vape? Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> You're get it. <laughs> so I think we should move on to the next one. First date story. We went for drinks with a boy. He asked what school I went to. Worked out it was a Catholic school. Then went on to explain, nobody hates Catholics more than my mum. <laughs> then showed me a picture of his red, blue and white bedroom. Swift exit. <laughs> Oof. That's hardcore, mate. Mate, I respect the guy. Just for the off, this is what me and my clan is it believe in. more though? I think it's his ma and no him. He's like, my ma hates Catholics. <laughs> 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 I'm all right with him. No, here, listen, I, I, can, I can take you to leave you, right? But see the old dear. She <laughs> will go through you. She's not going to have this <laughs> at all. It's funny, it's just sitting, showing, just going, so I, this is like, why, like, this is just a one time thing where you went to a Catholic school and look at my ma, there she is there with a the, the sash on and that. <laughs> What if like, on the drum? <laughs> I don't know. Imagine, um, imagine you like went with somebody in the uh, my boy, my boy's in the orange walk. I like. I couldn't do that. Banging the drum in that. She bangs the drum. Boom! Up the front. Oh, man. She's Bang. like front, front and center of the orange walk. <laughs> I couldn't do that. No. Absolutely not. Somebody, you're, is this a, a female suitor's mother? Aye. Aye, no, I'm not having that. You meet her and she's like, ah, um. She's like asking, what's your mum and daddy? Oh, she does this. She, uh, she's does. a nurse and that, am um, I? Like, what's she do for fun? Oh, she goes like swimming and that sometimes. And <laughs> she goes doing, swimming? Doing the bowling club and that. And oh, she's uh, also a Freemason that does the orange walk and that. Uh, she's like in charge of the orange <laughs> walk. <laughs> she's the head of the Freemasons and that. I would quite, I would respect that as well. She's he- no, she's head of the Freemasons, I would go. Do you think, they see the Freemasons drink that as a pure, ooh, spooky guys? Or do you think it's like just a mad gentleman's club? That I'm at no, bowling club. Some spooky shit going on. Jink spooky shit. Some rituals. And it's 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 tied to Scotland quite heavily, isn't it? The mm-hmm. no like, three mates in Scotland. Scotland moved it like these guys moved out to America. But I just thought it was a wee club. Didn't think they were stuck up. Like to a social stuff. club. Aye, just a wee bowling club for all the old guys. That's maybe how it started. But yeah. I think they do they all the ceremonies and that, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Like the pure like swearing I in. It, I think it's today with like Catholic and all that because they wanted something. Because it's, it's meant to be against Catholic. Ah, you went to America and all that because you couldn't be, you had to be a Catholic here at the time. Aye, we, we were under the Roman America. Catholics, weren't we? Troops, we've got an announcement. We are now offering a seven day free trial on our half B tier over at our Patreon. So that means you'll get access to the end of the episode when you hear us switching over to Patreon at the end. That means you'll get access to all of those episodes. So why not give it a go? Seven day free trial. You can go right through our archive of every bonus Patreon episode we've done. We've even got a few episodes that are just bonus episodes that we chucked in for that tier at random times. So you'll have so much to watch through. Give it a try. It's one week. You'll not be charged. Cancel it before the end if you don't want to be charged. But it's £3 a month. So 
it's up to yourself obviously we've got our other tiers of blue flavor boy tier with that obviously you get all the extended episodes but you also get a bonus episode each month you get access to the discord server you get to ask questions for guests and us we've also got the on it till tuesday tier where you get two bonus episodes every month you also get early access to all the episodes and you get 10 percent off merch and then obviously you get everything else that we've mentioned previously and then our biggest tier the goat tier the daddies you get to request an episode it can be eaten really within reason unless you want us to like strip off um we can discuss a price about that uh, but for 20 pound a month you can request an episode it can be anything it can be a conspiracy theory a watch along anything you can think of you get 20 percent off merch plus everything mentioned in all the other tiers so yes get on it troops www.patreon.com forward slash riley's gaff right so the next one i was talking to this guy on tinder was a nice guy asked me for my snapchat the chat continued just normal stuff what do you do for work etc then he asked to phone me on my way home from work same normal conversation on the phone but i heard heavy breathing and pure squelching i was like is everything okay and he said i everything's fine but it was getting worse surely he's no wanking on the phone I hung up and he messaged straight away apologising, saying, I thought you'd be into it, sorry. Such a weirdo, man. He still tries to message me to this day. Mate. Chugging. (laughs) Chugging on the dinger, bro. Imagine being like, so I was what? (laughs) Oh my God, mate. No, it's not like you don't realise how weird, like there's a lot of weird guys out there Mm -hmm. up for doing weird things. Very weird guys. Like a normal conversation. That's a man's weird, like I could never be, no, he was just sorry, he was happy with doing my work. No, I would never, that would never cross my mind to be like, fucking get get battle man out. Ah, no. I, but especially like, well, I'm going to, I was going to say, uh, especially that like you just started talking to a bird, but like at any point, just Aye. being like, so how was work? <laughs> it may be even weirder if it was your missus at like four years or something. <laughs> for the first time ever. Is that you on the bus? <laughs> <laughs> what you, you well? Aye, mate, that's, um, that's, no, that's a shame for that, lassie. She called it the wanker. The wanker. I like that. That that's is titled the wanker. <laughs> it's, I don't know why I say that at the start of when I, I gave it see, away. To be fair to the young lad, he texted straight away. Mate, that he's like, ah, I went up to it. I'm sorry. Thought you'd be into that. Aye, but all. Do you finish first or do you think you just text you straight away? Aye, that was the clarity, wasn't it? That was like, oh, fuck. I only text her, man. That's fucking terrible, me doing that. Imagine getting off the phone and being like, I knew that wasn't it. Like, I kind of thought it was. Got, I thought she would have kind of got into and that. it was a bit like, and it was like a wee bit out of the blue. Like, I did kind of jump up the gun a wee bit. <laughs> like, if you're trying to rationalise it to yourself. Aye. I just but, thought, like... <laughs> but imagine, like, no, it's funny about that. Like, imagine the next week after that for that boy, like, every day being like, oh, it's not that weird. I bet everybody's done that one. <laughs> like, yeah. Trying to, like... Yeah. George, do you have a so you know for your bird, you're fucking bottom on it. <laughs> <laughs> Try to like find companionship. Aye, you're, like, aye, aye, you're talking about sex and that, but no, just chatting. Just like no, do you just like it? Talk about like getting scran in it. <laughs> oh my god. That's ah, no nice. Is it? Hell, mate. I feel bad for that lassie. By the way, I'm gonna save the best one to last. It's a voice note, so stay to the end. Oh, I like that. And we'll we'll get the best one out and then we're gonna switch to the Patreon and do more because we've got so many. And remember troops to hear the rest of this. We're doing a free trial, so you can get it for free if you want. Patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. So let's go on to the next one. So this guy has asked to stay anonymous, so... Yeah. Him. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> His name's it. <laughs> so he says, I'd appreciate if you kept it anonymous, as it's a proper brass neck. So I was with this bird for a while, just talking, and decided to take her on a date. Went to a place in the town and went back to mine after it and somehow thought it would be a good idea to take an edible <laughs> and hit possibly the worst badging of all time. I was sick in a super drug bag <laughs> and thought it was blood, oh. but the bag was just pink. <laughs> <laughs> I know that is bags. a pure edible thing. Pure. Uh, <laughs> oh, me, I'm so bad. I know the exact bags and all. So, so it was a freak out. She threw up. Wait, hold on. Hold on, I'm going to re- rewind in this because I think, has the bird took an edible as well here? 
went back to mine. So they've both took an edible. I thought it was just the guy, right? So I'll start it again, troops, right? Edible squared. So I'd appreciate if you get this anonymous as a proper brass neck. So I was with this bud for a while, just talking and decided to take her on a date. Went to a place in the town, went back to mine after it and somehow thought it would be a good idea to take an edible and hit possibly the worst badging of all time. I was sick in a super drug bag and thought it was blood, but the bag was just pink. So I was freaked out even more. She threw up all over my back and my mum had to come in and help us and put the lassie into the shower, trying to help her as she was in a bad way. I didn't have the heart to tell my mum we had took an edible. I was par out my box, so I said it must have been food poisoning. (laughs) We then slept for 13 hours, and when when I woke up, my mum had contacted the restaurant and said her experience was terrible, and they offered a free meal next time. No had the brass neck to claim it in. <laughs> as, you can, as you can tell, we, we never lived happily ever after. Oh, mate, but that's another one. I would think that's a fucking bonding experience. I, oh, held one. I think, like, some of these are... The wanker. I can kind of see that. No I, going further. The wanker. You go your separate ways. Yeah, I just part ways. But some of them, like, I think going through something terrible mm-hmm. right at the start can be a good thing. Aye. But is it like people that, like, like say you're... You're, you went through a disaster or something and mountaineering people or something and you get or you all get through it together and it's just like right we're off like we're through this you mm-hmm. know what I mean see you later sayonara aye like no hard feelings that I respect you we've been through something here do you know what I mean like <laughs> Vietnam vets I bet they don't fucking hang about all the time oh no they're just like, don't we... hang about for anybody no they're, they're just <laughs> guys that were in Nam <laughs> and they're putting up with fucking waiting in a super drug bag <laughs> no, no, no no chance no chance bro nah not a chance mate um, right, so next one. First date story. The last first date I was on, a wee cunt ran past me as I was getting off with my date outside Maggie's, Maggie Mays must be, and grabbed my bag off my shoulder. All he could think of to say in the moment was, that was awkward. I've not seen him again. <laughs> Imagine getting robbed, like so somebody <laughs> robbed her as she was getting off with somebody. <laughs> that's a pure bold move to rob somebody mid, mid-nip. It's probably a good, that's an opportune... That time I'd say to rob somebody. It is probably the perfect yeah, see, time to mug somebody. I mean, Nittam's just a lovely thing. See, when you're Nittam, you're in a world of your own. Nittam away. Right, show me. Right, kid on, you're Nittam. Show us what you do. All right, Morgan. What's happening? <laughs> oh, just a wee bit at the end there. <laughs> Mate, how bad? I think I've told you this. I remember I had at least hard as hell in the background. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was him it. on the phone whacking, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is a hagman move, bro. I remember getting a, I get. I remember on the school bus there was this uh, bird I fancied. She used to go on it. She was she was very nice, and I had scored because mind you used to just agree. It was like why nippers? Like it wasn't a, why I start seeing us. I was like. I just nip and just see what happens. Mm-hmm. I just see where the night takes us. And we got off the school bus, went up a wee lane, gave her my best, mate. My, be- <laughs> my best at that time. <laughs> my best at that time. The best you could do, the best you can muster up. Aye. I gave her my best, mate. And she went round the whole school saying, Evan kisses like a whale. <laughs> I don't even understand that slagging either. Whales don't even have tongues, I don't think. I, if they did, they'll <laughs> incapable of nipping, I think. No, a whale, a whale nip. I mean, I'm, a whale nip would probably be quite pleasant, actually. What does it mean? What do you mean? I don't know, comforting, big, massive tongue, licking you or something. How mad is it whales can jump? Aye, because we've got... They've got, like, legs, legs in the inside of what them. What do you call that? It's called, um... Oh, it's called... Vestigial legs. Vestigial. It means, like, they're no fully formed. Right. But it's because they used to be land animals. Aye. So they went in and they're just retracted. And Mate. so they just set wee floppy things in there. So like when they're going up, it's like <laughs> doing that. What does whale shagging look like? Whale shagging would be intense, bro. I don't know. I can imagine them spinning or something. Is it eagles that do that? Spin? Eagles do that on my death row. You never seen an eagle having sex? Oh, like they talk tumble and Aye, they tumble to the grunt and it's like they need to like climax before they fucking, if they don't, they'll hit the ground and die. What's the funniest animal to think about having sex? What do ants do? Ants, that, ants have big orgies, I think. Ant, ants are like strictly a hundred plus only when they're shagging. And they've mad parties, mate. 
Big orgies, my aunt, aunt orgy. <laughs> got <laughs> what you up to tonight? Got an aunt orgy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just jumped in the mound, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a big aunt orgy in there, man. <laughs> I, I don't know, but I, I can imagine a whale one being a bit majestic, to be fair. Oh, fucking hell, man. <laughs> uh, so, I, I mean, this this poor lassie got mugged mid nip. Oh, yeah, that's terrible, isn't it? That is terrible. And what was her reply? It was quite a. Uh, no, close. the guy who she was getting off with just done. That was awkward. With the chase. What the did that? you say, but? Yeah, I'd have been after the cunt. I'd have fucking killed him for my princess. I, I, I'll fucking get that I for you. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> get back here. Mate, how insane would it be if he just chased the cunt and actually killed him? Imagine with he was just running like that. No, purely. He'd be a straight running. Like, <laughs> I'll fucking get him. <laughs> would our lassie like that? Mate, see, if you get, if you do 10 toes and fucking catch a, a thief, mate, a thief that's robbed her. Spear a cunt, get the bag back, hold them down, call the authorities. Aye, like don't hurt them, just pin. That's the pure noble thing to do. Subdue them, mate. That, mate, a bird would be soaking after Sub- that, mate. Yeah, if you subdued a guy. Or subdued a mugger. <laughs> <laughs> mate, subduing a thief is like what I'll, every lassie wants. Do you know what's so embarrassing for people? Like, see, you see, you see it in America a lot. Like, this, it's like they fight videos on Twitter and it's like, he picked the wrong dude to fuck with. Yeah. It's like a guy trying to pick a fight with an MMA fight and they just like choke them out in that. Ah, or, yeah, yeah. or like they just, like we said, they just subdue them. They don't even like batter them. They're just like, right, mate, just stay doing the new. How embarrassing would that be? You're like, trying to get up in that. Mate, did you see the one of the fucking kind of little, like, it, I, I forget who it was doing it, but somebody done a mad real naked choke when I'm a cunt. And the cunt looked like Logan Paul. I think it was Conor McGregor or something. No. Like there was a mad video outside like a nightclub. Is it he, Matt Sarah? The mad bald guy? That might have been mate, guy? I'm fucking choked the cunt out and the cunt falls limp, mate. Aye. That's dangerous stuff, isn't it, bro? Choking somebody out, mate. <laughs> it's insanity. Mate, you choke, choke, some, choke a mugger out in front of a bird. Oh, but she, this... She dripping, bro. Wet, mate. She's <laughs> wet as a hitting, bro. Right, troops. The last one. I think this is the best one. We've got the, the guy's voice. It's no him, he's no involved, it's just second-hand info. I like that. Um, He'll see. But uh, this one is fucking wild, right? I'll just play it for you, Trips. Right, so basically, there's this lassie I see sometimes and she was telling me one of her pals matched this guy on Tinder, talking to him for a wee while, whatever. We went up to his flat in Glasgow to meet him and that first time, so he made dinner for them and that. They're just sitting having a drink no long after having their dinner and the next thing she's just bursting for the toilet. Out of neighbor, so she gets up to go to the toilet and she, that person didn't make it to the toilet in time. So she's obviously pure distraught. Shat herself. <laughs> uh, she's obviously to tell the guy, but he was pure nice about it and everything. Like, Ken, it was an accident and all that, but says... Uh, my flatmate's a lassie, so I'll just go and get you some spare clays out of her room. So he goes and gets her a change of clays and that. She goes and gets changed. And then when she comes back out again, changed, she looks in and she sees the guy and he's sniffing and it all. Oh, I just realised that cut off. <laughs> Aye, so he's caught her sniffing all this shitty clays. And she's, she's gobsmacked, obviously. And it clicks in her head that he must have like put laxatives in the dinner that he made and, and just sat and waited patiently for her to shite herself so he could get a hold of her shitty clothes. It's mental, man. Hey. I can't believe it. I thought she was joking, but she was telling me it actually happened. <laughs> so I beware. There's a mad jobby sniffer about Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> How mental is there's that? There's a jobby mate? sniffer on the loose, bro. Mate, there's a jobby sniffer. Know what the funniest part is, right? It's Craig that's in the Discord. Shout out to Craig for sending Craig that in. Um, I said to him, I was like, do you, do you want me to like keep it anonymous? Do you want to like... And he was like, ah, no, mate, we need to fucking find this jobby sniffer. He's like, what? <laughs> He's on like a mad campaign to go out and like find uh, who he is. Like, uh, you don't fuck with cats on that. Aye, like, aye. I'm on message boards and that. Aye. Mate, see that story? I've the only thing that I'm thinking I've heard this before. I don't know if this is a what do you call that? Like a a, a tale, like a, a a modern a modern tale. Do you know what I mean? Because I've heard that before. A boy in my uni said his it was his lassie pal. It could be the same person, but but the exact same story. The guy took cooked pasta, but then it could the, be the same guy. Then, right? I know, but then uh, but really listen to this because I've got an extension to this story as well. Then right because so. 
the guy cooked her pasta, shat herself, right? Standard stuff here. You all know the story. <laughs> so she, but she goes into the toilet, takes her stuff off, gets showered. He goes and gets her clays, as you said. But then he, he's like, no, I'll wash it. I'll, I'll wash the stuff. And like, he's like, give me the clays. And he's like, don't be, it's all right. And, all that. and he's like, and then he takes it into the other room and she sees him like scraping it off and all that. Oh my God. Like taking it off to but put wonder- it in some. But then sorry, the extension of the story is, so she's went to the police. There's 23 other instances like that. The exact same thing. But then technically, if you can't prove that you've been drugged, the, he's done nothing wrong and they can't prove she was being drugged for some reason and this is as I say hearsay this but is for a friend it must be I think what's happening is because I mean if you're a bird you tell so that story is that's his lassie pal and she's told him about that mm-hmm. why would you why would you make that up about yourself exactly. right I think that must be a mad fetish thing for a guy hey, and it's what well, there's one guy there's a dastardly man in Glasgow, they know. Just Cut. trying to sniff the jobbies every lassie that you but, can. But it's only pasta, I know. Which is weird. Is it always pasta? You said it was pasta. Was it pasta as well? Did you say it was pasta? I don't know, did, I can't remember. Did Craig say it was pasta? Well, it's just, it's the pasta jobby guy. Like, <laughs> pasta, pa- pizza, doesn't matter, she shat herself. It's the pasta jobby guy. <laughs> but imagine just that moment, you're like, oh my God, right? Because it's such a mad up and down, because you're like, oh my God, I've shat myself. <laughs> but... But he's being pure, he's like, oh, don't worry about it. You're like, do you know what? This guy's fucking lovely. And you look out and see the through the door and he's like, ah. Scoot you know, off, not. Oh my God. And then imagine that moment you're like, he's put fucking laxatives in that food. So I shat myself. That's the pure, mate. They must, I feel bad for the cunt, mate. He must hate himself or something. Like that's the pure worst, like thing. Am that I is the down wor- to an Abbey guy? It's human eye. You could be, mate. Could be him, but no, I like it's human like excrement. It's the pure most vile shit ever. I mean, I can't wait. I, I don't hang about. Do you know? What, do you know? What I date. You no, know, I sometimes date by accident. Sometimes I excrete in the lavatory, right? And then I'll just jump up, wipe my ass. Nah, baby wipes always. By the way, do you jump up and wipe your ass? Uh, or do you wipe it sitting down? I some most of the time jump up. Oh, bro, I'm too don't... big in that, mate. I can't oh. fit my horn run anywhere. Can I get it around your cock? Can I get it around that? <laughs> can I get it around my cock? <laughs> um, cock no, a tin of beans, mate. Some, can I get around that? Sometimes by accident, I'll jump jump in a shower after it, forget to flush. And I hate that. Being anywhere, that shite disgusts me. I, I, it makes me embarrassed <laughs> that it comes at my body and that. Like, see, when I do a man bog and shite, it makes me feel disgusting. Mate, shiting used to make me feel pure gay. My mad ass opening up and all that. I was like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did honestly, it's my mad ass like doing that. I was like, oh, that's, mate, it's like reverse you, taking a dick. Do you ever, do you ever enjoy a big one? Oh, mate, what's you, what's better, but a big shite or a big pish? A big shite. Big shite. <laughs> big shite is the <laughs> best <laughs> for me. How funny is that? Just big shite unanimously. Mate. How <laughs> is big <laughs> shite across the board? Mate? Worldwide. Comment below. Big shite or big pish? You want a big? You want a caramel <laughs> log at you, man? But what's not what? too big, but not too big. No, no, a monstrous thing. No, a fucking. Yeah, something. One of my pals used to like holding a shite. Is that a bird? What's Dundee and I think his face like. Oh my god, that's that mad Wayne Wayne's day that? He's like, nothing, you're holding a shite. And he's like, aye, it feels real good, mate. Oh, mate, that's what he's just saying that in. There's a mad thing, there's a thing with like birds. I Wednesday that that's a Wayne thing, I'm sure. We've caught him now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a Wayne. But, but he liked it. He didn't deny. He was fucking up for it. He was like, he tried to get his interview. He tried to recruit us. And he's holding another shit. Recruit. I meet Dea. There's a thing we. There's a thing we. Maybe the ga- the nineteen percent li- female listeners of Riley's ga- <laughs> can tell us. There's a thing apparently like holding in a piss for a bird who's a bit. Oh. Oh really? Tingly. Uh, apparently. Why? Why is that? I wonder. I don't, I'm not I hate holding in a piss. But I like it because sometimes you get a bit of swelling, a bit of. <laughs> <laughs> when you're holding in a piss. I'm an extra half inch. I'm like running the sides. <laughs> <laughs> but a piss, uh, mate, a dick for a piss. Oh, a phobie for a piss. <laughs> 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 right, I think we need to switch over. Aye, this is Patreon talk right now. This is Patreon talk. This is straight Patterson talk, so let's so go over. we're going to switch over. We'll talk about, we'll maybe talk about maybe bad date experience that we've had. 
Mm, and that sounds all right. I don't, I don't really have much to say, but I would like to hear your take on the subject. Just make one up. I'll make one up, bro. <laughs> no, I'll don't make, make one up. <laughs> we don't lie. Everybody thinks we lie, but we don't Mate, lie. We can't say we lie a lot of things. People think we lie. We would lie. If we were lying, we'd come up with better I, shit. I put, there's a TikTok of me talking about me having a wank in the shower on holiday and my dad shouting on me as I'm about to climax. <laughs> And people laugh, that cunt's full of shite. I'm like, <laughs> what is in that for I me? I don't look like good here. Oh, yes. I, um, and then we've got more, we'll get, we've got about seven more to go through here and they just get worse and worse. So troops, we're going to switch over, patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. You'll get this on the free trial. So if you're not on the Patreon, go get the free trial, watch the rest of the episode and let's go for there. See you later team. Bye-bye.